Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how you can create an infinite scroll for your Django app in HTMX. Once you scroll down, you click on load more posts, and your posts just keep loading, and you keep clicking, and they keep going. Alright, so how do you do this? Well, we're going to step through the code, we're going to go through some docs, and we're going to do it together. So why don't we start in the categories template and I have this title and description and that matches if you go to like the productivity category we've got a title and description right here and I'm using this include syntax and that allows you to inject another template into the current template so I'm taking this uh, file I have called post.html and it's going to inject all the posts into the uh, category page. Let's take a look at post.html and yeah this is where all the magic is happening it's about 15 lines and the first thing we'll point out is that it's using it's also using the include and injecting the post card into it. So the post card is just an article tag and this represents the post card. If we go over to the page each of these is an article tag. Um, so if we go here let's collapse this so that's an article, that's an article, and that's an article. So these are just a stacked amount of articles. And yep so we're injecting that article and then yeah I'll just kind of start explaining it from here so I'm gonna hit a put a breakpoint right here and we'll go through an easy example to start so why don't we go to the resources um, category and um, it's gonna start looping for post and post this is coming from my post model um, so we can take a look at that that's in blog models um, so it's a category so this is a post you know it has a title it has description this is what contains a whole blog post and when we are inside posts so we're going to be looping through um, a list of blog posts and one thing I've set inside my view so I have this category view that's using the post model that I just showed you and it's paginating by three so what that means is that every page contains three blog posts we can double check that so we go in here and we take a look at uh, length posts that's three posts and if we go up here we can see that there are four pages in this um, in this page object. So these four pages represent, um, you know, the first page is going to have three, and then the second page is going to bring us to six, the third page is going to bring us to nine, and then in order to show the tenth blog post, we need to have one more page um, that contains one post in it. So we're going through the blogs, and this is just going to inject that first article. So I'm going to hit a breakpoint here and just go to this and now this logic is saying is this the end of the for loop it's definitely not the end of the for loop because um, if we take a look at posts take a look at post one that's that first blog post here's the second blog post and then here's the third blog post and the current post we're on now is that first one so this is matching post zero um, and we're not at the end of the for loop. The end of the for loop is when we get to the last post that's on the page. Um, so if we click this, it's just going to um, keep injecting article tags. So it's going to go from here, it's going to go back up to the for loop, inject, back up, inject. So um, I'm going to hit play. And I believe we're on the second blog post now. So let's take a look at post. Yep, we're at 15 minute dump and go. So now we're at post two, which is at index one. And I'm just gonna hit this one more time. And this is gonna bring us to the third blog post. 
Um, so now we're at that collection of timeless phrases and sayings, which represents post three. And if we hit down, it's going to enter this logic. It's not going to go back up because it, it has reached the end of the for loop. And um, this next um, if statement is checking, does is there another page? Because if there um, if there is another page, then we can definitely keep fetching it, like, you know, keep iterating. Um, and I'll go over this logic in just a second, but I just want to show that here it's asking, um, uh, let's see, so if there's not a page, um, then keep going. But then if the page is divisible by three, show the show more um, post button. And uh, I don't think I've covered this quite yet, but the idea is um, as we scroll, I'm going to just, um, well, I'm not going to continue it, but the whole idea is once you've scrolled about nine blog posts, that feels like a good uh, amount of blog posts to go through before I want to show that see more button. Um, so it's we're currently not divisible by three. We're at page one, so it's going to skip over that. Oh yeah, it's just going right back into my base template now. So I can just hit play. And now it's loaded the next um, section of posts. So we, you know, we keep scrolling and then now it's going to go through and now we're on page two. So it's going to keep fetch another three blog posts. Um, yep. And it's going to go through those three posts, loaded three more. Um, so I'm just going to hit, um, actually, let's see, we'll keep going. So we're on page three right now. So now we're going to go, um, it's going to include three, let's see, where are we right now? We're on page three. What post are we on? Clear. Oh, we can't clear that. So we're on, like, again, the length of post is going to be three. And let's look at like what is the current post? Um, is this the last post? Nope, I don't think so. Yeah, we're on the so we're on the second post right now at index one. So why don't we hit play one more time? And now it should be this is that third blog post at index two. Okay, so now we're kind of at that magic point where. We're at the end of the for loop, so it's going to kick into here. Um, we do have one more page, so it will go into here. The thing is, is that it is divisible by three. Um, so we're not going to keep fetching blog posts. We're actually going to go over here, and now we're going to show that see more button um, because three is divisible by three. So now we're going to go in here, and it's going to show that. So if we scroll to the bottom, we have this load more posts. And um, so just to kind of prove that we're on the right track, uh, there should be nine blog posts so far because we got to the third page. And we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And there's one more blog post. If we check this um, button here, you can see that it's um, it's going to request for page four, which is the last page. Um, and yeah, we can click it and it will um, kick us back over to that logic. So why don't we um, hit the load more posts. So now we're in a unique spot now because the length of posts is not going to be three. It's going to be one because that fourth page only has one post and that's the 10th post. And the current post is that one, so it's automatically at the end of the for loop. And what's interesting here is that there isn't, and it, it's already injected that post, is that there isn't another page. We're at page 404. So if we go to page object, we're at page 404. So it's going to just load it. Um, and so now here we are, right here, and there's no load more. Um, we're good to go. So I was thinking, why don't we um, try this again 
and I'll kind of start explaining the HTML, the HTMX logic. So we'll hit that there. We'll hit. I think I have to go to a different category. So we'll hit this one. Now this one has seven pages because there's 20 posts. So seven times three is 21 posts. So we're kind of in a similar situation where there's um, each page can hold um, three posts, um, and it needs to, it's going to go up to it could hold up to 21 posts, but we have 20, so we're at that seventh page that has two um, posts in it. Um, okay, so why don't we go through? We're injecting that first blog post. We're not at the end of the for loop, so it's going to keep going. So let's here we're on the second blog post, and then let's go to the third blog post, and now we should be at the end of the for loop. So we're now at that post three of page one. There is another page. We have a page four. It's not divisible by three because we're only on page one. Um, so we are going to go into this logic. Um, and now, now we can talk a little bit more about HTMX. I know this has been a little bit of like a, a, a long time coming, but I really needed to explain why we were doing what we were doing so that the HTMX um, syntax like makes sense of why it's doing what it's doing. Um, so this part right here is just saying it's going to make a get request and it's going to go to that category view and it's going to fetch more content and it's going to fetch the next page of posts so it's going to um, it's going to grab the next three blog posts this hx trigger revealed we can actually go to the doc and i was looking at it before so let's take a look at this is the htmx doc it's really really good and if we go to HX reveal, HX reveal, you can look at um, triggering requests. And there's this one called fires once when an element scrolls into the viewport. So what we're kind of doing here is um, if it's not divisible by three, we're injecting this div that contains a link to um, fetch more blog posts. And when that div gets revealed, it's going to um, like when it's scrolled into view. So if you're doing this in JavaScript, I think this would be a like a scroll to you're like you know you're you're creating a listener and you want to find out when the user has scrolled a certain element into view. And in the back end, HTMX is doing that uh, that kind of logic for us. So once we have kind of revealed that third blog post that's below the viewport, it's going to trigger this um, logic. And what's it going to do? It's going to do an HX swap after end. And after end, let's take a look at what that means. So we go to HX swap. Um, swapping. So HX swap has after end, and that appends the content after the target in the target's parent element. Um, so what we want to do is once the div is revealed, we want to add more content, and it's basically the posts need to go on top of the current posts. You know, if we're reading the DOM from the top to the bottom, we want to append posts to the end of the DOM. And this HX target is saying, you know, we're going to kind of wipe out this div and replace it with three more blog posts. Um, and yeah, that, that'll just bring more three more blog posts into view and uh, let's keep going and I can kind of explain this logic now how about we will skip over it until we, we get to three blog posts so we go or not to three blog posts once we get to um, you know we scroll we're on three more blog posts and then we scroll and then now we're at page three. So now we are divisible by three, and that's when we're going to show that button is going to show up. And this button is actually super similar in logic to um, like um, lines six and 10 are actually super similar, where we're creating that same URL to fetch the next page. But the only difference is, is that 
this one has an HX trigger of click instead of an HX trigger of revealed. So if you scroll this button into view, it's not going to just fetch more blog posts. It's going to hang out and say, I'm not going to fetch more blog posts until you click on me. Um, let's hit play. So now we go three more blog posts down and we have this load more posts. If we inspect it, it has, I think I showed this before, it has that fourth page. And if I click on it, um, why don't we just take off these um, breakpoints because you know what's going to happen. We're just going to get um, some more posts. Oh, I'm, I'm not on the one that has 10 blog posts, so it's going to keep going and then we get to the end. Um, so I think that was everything I wanted to show um, to just kind of give a summary of what we did. We have this post model, so we're going through posts and posts. We're injecting the post, and then the logic really starts to kick in, in at the end of the for loop. And once we get to the end of the for loop, we need to ask ourselves, are there more pages? If there are, let's keep um, adding that dummy div to the end of the DOM to reveal more blog posts, and um, or have that see more posts. But if there's not a next page, we can just drop out, like we're good. We already, log we already um, got to the end of the for loop, we injected that last blog post, we're good. Um, but if we're not, then we can just keep grabbing that URL. I will make sure I, I want to mention that um, this URL, I've just injected as a context variable the current path. Um, so if we're in here, we go to um, here. I'll, head up, I'll put a breakpoint here, and we'll go to a different. Go to this category. This URL is category geodev, so it's going to be fetching that category with this page with one added to it. And yeah, this one will be the revealed, and then this one will be based on click. And the way I styled the button is just with, uh, these are bootstrap classes um, to make the button blue and, and look bootstrappy. Okay, um, I hope you're able to, if you wanna do infinite scroll with HTMX in your blog, you're able to do it with, um, with this video. Um, I haven't found a lot of tutorials on this topic, so I was really happy I can kind of share. Um, it took me a long time to figure this all out, so I hope I'm able to help you a little bit more and, and you can get it done faster than it took me. Um, all right, well, have a great day, guys.